Hello again, a new day, a new test, and look what I got here. That's an uh, IBM R40 Type 2722. Obviously, we have a MAC address that means a LAN or a Wi-Fi, but I suppose this is for LAN and this is for Wi-Fi. I can see here some numbers. It should be so nice to have a Wi-Fi here. Well, let's take a look. What we got here? That should be the RAM. Pretty sure. Of course. That's the RAM we have two bricks of, should be 56, right? DDR at 333 megahertz. That's the battery here. I don't know if it's taking a charge, it would be really nice. But this computer, it's at least 2002, 2003 or something like that. 20 years old at least. It's looking pristine, look here. No scratches. It's looking brilliant here should be so nice to have a wi-fi card oh yes pam pam it's an intel vm3b 2010 beautiful we got a card let me put this back for now and you can see the serial number and the seal with windows xp it's untouched mouse keyboard usb lan network that's modem vga display and parallel port and of course DC in power supply in what we got here PCMCA that's a 1394 port that's a iLink or a firewire you know that was used for transfer digital video from the early digital cameras in early 2000 in the front we have the infrared sensor here for infrared communication and here we have what's this here okay we can take this out all right so we have a cdrv dvd drive perfect and that's from december 2003 and that match date here 0312 2003 month 12. so this guy is like 20 years old beautiful okay what else of course headphones and microphone in nice it's looking great i can't wait to turn it on i may say the keyboard it's untouched i can barely see you know leftovers this wasn't work and look here look at the pads just a little a slight scratch here mouse okay so we have a track here track point with all this uh, left, right, middle. And we also have a pad. So it's kind of double something. Okay, beautiful. Um, what else? That's the standard things here. IBM keyboard, of course. Well, people, here I have the original adapter. It's working with 16 volts, 4.5 amps. Kind of dodgy. It has been worked before. Before doing anything else, let me check the voltage so far perfect 16.6 volts we should be good to go power on okay so let's turn this guy on yes we have the charging light here but i can hear a strange sound oh that's not promising at all there's the charging light maybe the battery is keeping any charge that doesn't sound good not at all come on okay Let's access the, the BIOS. Wow, it's moving really slow. Why? Okay, here we have, uh, you can see, on, on, okay, we'll, be, we'll go back. Thank you. Failure fixed disk zero. Okay, that's bad. Date and time, security startup. Let me have that um, diagnostic. The BIOS battery should be changed, that's for sure okay save here we have all right intel pentium m processor 1300 megahertz 1 1.3 gigahertz so this is the processor we have inside there beautiful now it's checking for uh, for the ram it's so beautiful <laughs> it's starting everything else can be fixed what's next well it's looking really good come on come on come on i don't see any 
that should be the hard drive LED. Here we go. Yeah. Failure disk, fixed disk Z. Uh, that's, you see, that's what I said. That's the LED for the disk, which is obviously kaput. Okay, let me see. Do we have um, any charge? Of course not. You see, I didn't expect that, in fact. Okay, I have a disk from uh, another Air 30 Intel. So we'll take this out. You know, this is really interesting how to how to take out the hard drive here. We need to have this uh, screw out and just take this bezel. That's it. Yeah, December 2003. Same story. Maybe I shouldn't work here if I want to keep the non-scratched surface. Come on up. Okay, so that that was the original here. It feels like it was. Oh, got no screws. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, right. 40 giga. Look here. Okay. Yeah. That's a mess. Oh, like that. Possible. This guy have like it's good for testing. Like that, I think so. Okay. I hope the BIOS it's remember the last configuration with the diagnose and all the other stuffs. Okay, let me turn on the lamp and come on. We should have a Windows 98 on this uh, hard drive. So if we are lucky, it's booting. What? Enter me. Oh, that's it, people. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> scan disk why okay do whatever yeah but I think I'm gonna install Windows XP and this drive it's kind of noisy you hear the, the motor spinning there we are obviously the date and the hour here it's upside down so yeah it's working nice now let's proceed with changing the BIOS battery. So uh, to have access to the battery, to the BIOS battery, we don't really have to take off everything. Okay, so there is a gap in here. You see this one, I can push the keyboard out. This one, I evidently took out the Wi-Fi cards. I was thinking maybe there is a hidden screw and look here, I can push this up until it release from this uh, stuffs there. And we have another one right here. So we have to get rid of that too. Yeah. And the keyboard, it's out. Oh man. <laughs> we have the spider's web inside here. Very nice. I can clean the fan too. Oh. <coughs> Oh, it's dust inside there. My God. <laughs> I may say this guy is untouched. Look there. Of course, now that was easy. Yeah, let's take that out. Can I do that? No. That's the processor. It should be the processor. I can't take that out. Oh no. At least I can see. Oh, that's good. That's pretty fine there. Shouldn't be a problem to have a little fresh. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to dismantle everything there because I can simply get this like that. Perfect. Ok, 
okay that should be fine uh, let's clean this just a little pretty good for now and let's focus to the BIOS battery okay evidently I don't have a replacement BIOS battery but I can use this guy to build a new one okay so red it's plus absolutely shall we check the battery this is old I really mean that it's really old All right, so oh, these are very good. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these. And there's the plus and there's the minus here. How can we put this together? Hmm? Simply with some tape. Obviously, I can't do any soldering here because uh, temperature will destroy the bat. But we can use some tape. just like that and now I'm really really pushing it and there we have a brand new BIOS battery this will last years okay let's check the voltages right here at the connector perfect that's that let me plug this back all right look at this keyboard we have a scratch here that's it we can feel you can feel it like it was use it too much okay mission complete of course let's check the bios now power on perfect okay so let's fix the date um, 4th of May oh 2023 and uh, time it's 16 and 16 and zero 05 in the afternoon of course all right check then start up we'll go to diagnostics and f10 out save and reboot let's see it's starting or not Of course, new BIOS battery. Come on, come on. It's thinking, still thinking, thinking. And perfect, looking good. There we go. Windows 98, it's booting normally, everything is fine. The keyboard is working great. I don't see any problem, nice. The battery doesn't take the charge, so I don't bother with that anymore. I was hoping, but you know, it's so old. <laughs> so uh, that's how you can replace the BIOS battery without dismantle everything you know just two screws behind here keeping the keyboard that's one and this is number two very simple and then here under the battery you see this is the keyboard in fact you just push and then the keyboard is getting out from the main body all right so far I'm surprised it's working great of course the next step will be to install a new copy of Windows XP, that, like the original. And uh, for now, I'm pretty okay. If you like my uh, reviving uh, and uh, 20 years old laptop, 
don't hesitate to subscribe and like and uh, like always be creative and most of all have fun bye bye